All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol OPTT, Ocean Power Technologies, Inc. And before we jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all my first time viewers and investors. Welcome to my channel, Invest for Tomorrow. And to all my subscribers, welcome back. I did see some comments about, oh, great news on how this was very bullish, but where is the news to back it up and so forth. And I just want to go ahead and make it clear to many of the viewers and investors coming across this channel. I try to tie in news sometimes or i talk about certain articles when it's necessary but i also like to stay away from that as much as possible because this is the old school way of how you would analyze a chart and sometimes going into news and all these different articles i try to quiet down the noise and narrow it down to what's important and specific as we analyze the charts and see them for ourselves i had stated yesterday that we were on a really close and tight run here that the tug of war was going to be interesting because we're getting really close to the 50 day moving average and if it broke through the 50 day moving average and support we would be seeing this one going down to newer lows you see so if i added news and everything it starts to add false hope because i would have started finding articles on why this rose up and then it would be misleading i don't like to mislead i don't like to predict i don't like to you know try to add the hype of what's going on I had just stated that was a great run for the bulls and we were going to have to see because they were slipping away after hitting these highs and this resistance level was going to be the most important one. So I analyze charts in this uh, channel. I sometimes add news when necessary, especially when it lets us know why this direction is happening and for so long, like this only lasted a total amount of like three days. And on the third day, it started to fall and that's it i'd like to talk about news when we see something going on for almost a week two weeks added on and show you why it might be a good investment or why you should consider this because i'm not here to tell you guys to buy sell or hold we're just here to analyze the charts the last couple of days and hours to see what is going on and what to know and expect for the next day so as i stated yesterday this one was going to hit newer lows if the support level was broken through and the 50 day moving average would move with it in a downward direction so we already saw the 50 day moving average catch up to it and then start to level off now and if this continues to go down the 50 day moving average is going to start going down with it as this ticker symbols continue to fall now we broke through support once that would get broken through the bulls tried to level off they struggled and the bears have dominated this one so let's go ahead and see what's important for tomorrow that resistance level of 365 way up there is super important for the bulls right now they need a break through that so this can see newer highs because that is the closest resistance level to the highest point this stock reached of 372 in the last couple of days and in that bullish run so let's go ahead and see our new resistance level which is the highest point before this actually continued to fall and our new support level and we're right now at 195 so the 50 day moving average is slightly below the resistance level and that is 271 i'd write that down as long as we're below it bears are in control the moment we cross it the bulls are in control the bulls are going to want to break through resistance and that is 274 once they accomplish this by turning 274 into a support level they can start to reach newer highs and newer resistance levels and break over the 50 day moving average break over the first resistance level turning it into a support and confirm and test and prove it and start to work their way up further away from the 50 day moving average getting deeper into bullish territory that's the goal right now for the bulls and we're going to have to see if that can be accomplished and there could be a turnaround here and on the other hand we have what the bears want the bears have already dominated this in the last two days bringing it from here all the way down to where we're at right now and the next support level that they want to break through which is the lowest point reached in the day is 186 if 186 does get broken through this will start to test newer lows and hit new support levels i'm not saying that the bears have completely torn this apart and there can't be a recovery because the bulls can decide to reappear and say okay well it broke through support but this price down here is a discount let's load up on stocks and let's bring this one back up but again the bulls don't have control until they break 
through the 50-day moving average of 271 and get themselves back into bullish territory. Obviously, they need to break through the resistance and continue to pull themselves further away from it. But if 186 does get crossed, I want to emphasize how important it is to pay close attention to it because we're already in bearish territory and that means we're getting deeper and further away from the 50-day moving average into more deeper bearish territory, newer lows and newer support levels. As always, if you found this video helpful and informative, please do so and subscribe. Share this with your friends and community. And thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watch this video. Let's make some money. At the end of this video, there's going to be a pop-up video. And I go into detail about the S&P 500 index and how it's been rising up several points on scheduled dates. What happens on those scheduled dates, which are the dates that I circled here on the chart, and we're going to see for ourselves well the s p 500 index rises up several points and by doing so they're bringing up several ticker symbols not all of them but most of them up with them and these ticker symbols are rising up 30 cents to three dollars per share and i know it doesn't sound like a lot but per share that does add up and one thing i am really big on is profits if you put a dollar into the market and you get out with two dollars you've made profits You've done what the whole purpose of being in the market is for to maximize profits and minimize losses. And with the Federal Reserve pumping the markets on these scheduled dates, bringing the S&P 500 index up also brings up individual ticker symbols with them. And again, 30 cents to $3 may not sound like a lot of profit per share, but that does add up. And like I say, profits are profits. So we're going to look here at some of the dates so that you guys can see what I talk about in the video. And it's a weekly series. I wouldn't want you guys to miss out on it. Definitely click on the video as it pops up at the end of the video and check it out. But here we are with one of the first pumps in the scheduled dates pump. So the first one, since the last time that they had released this, they released this on September 14th. And the next one's coming up on October 14th, which is like a week from now. And on the 15th, they scheduled it. And as you can see, this is the 14th. And the 15th is this big green bar and it rose up. So on the 14th, we were at around 33.84 and it rose up to 34.20. I mean, that's 40 points risen on the S&P 500 index. And that's creating that catalyst for individual ticker symbols to rise up 30 cents to $3. We're going to look at another one here. And the next one was on September 22nd. And here we are on the 21st after falling from that last pump and the market had been falling and you could see that there is volatility on every single day of the market before the dates of the pumps. But on the dates of the pumps are the days that the most green happens for the most part, not every time, but for the most part. But on the 21st, which was a Monday, it was rising up and it rose up to this point here. And the next one was the 22nd so this is the last 21st candlestick and this is the first 22nd candlesticks and we were at 3270 this one rose up all the way up here to this point right here this was the last 22nd candlestick to 3319 i mean if we go back we were at 3270 3319 that's almost 50 point jump here for the s p 500 index and again individual ticker symbols rose up with it and it created that catalyst a little bit before the anticipation and on that date it rose up now on this next pump which was a little bit different there was a catalyst form beforehand and it rose up to these highs on the 28th of about 33.59 it actually dipped on the date of the next pump which we see it here which was on the 29th of september and the next one was on the 6th which just happened yesterday and it actually slightly dipped now not every time is these pumps going to rise up the market like we've seen here by a lot of points but it still rises it back up or levels it off from hitting newer lows and leveling off the market itself because if we look at the previous notes that i did beforehand it was actually rising up with it the volatility was there but you were able to buy like for example how we bought here on the 15th and it rose up. Well, it's been falling and then very volatile here up and down. Beforehand, you can buy 
at the beginning of the schedule pump dates and hold a couple weeks and ride out several pumps and you are going on your way up but right now even as the market's going down it's a great opportunity to take advantage of the fact that the federal reserve is pumping the markets and there's an opportunity to make profits so here we are on the 29th and it fell to lows of 33.28 and it rose up to these highs here of 33.49 i know it doesn't sound like a lot but that's still a 20 point jump after dipping and recovering and then it continued to work its way up to newer highs now here on the sixth which on the fifth it started to rise it leveled off this is the last candlestick of the fifth coming up right now and we're about to see it here yes this is the last candlestick of the fifth and it rose up and all the way to the last candlestick of the sixth it rose up another 20 points i mean we're down here and it ended up around here so right now something i'm noticing is that these pumps are creating less of an effect on the market but it's creating that upward direction from falling to newer lows but it's still helping the market rise up and even though the s p 500 index is rising several points there are individual ticker symbols rising up like i said 30 cents to three dollars check out the video i go into more detail i don't want you guys to miss out on this great information click on it and thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money